Here are five more awesome tools that you can use to make your PhD and your research easier. If you haven't already, go check out my previous video where I go through apps that you probably haven't heard of. And in this video, I have got more for you. So let's get into it. The first one I got for you is Scholacy. Scholacy is a really interesting tool because it kind of combines a range of different things. First of all, you open it up and you drag and drop your files or links into their system. And then you can bulk kind of summarize, which is fantastic. And then it bulk summarizes it. Then it turns it into uh, flashcards that you can then share with your research group or import into other kind of like different um, devices. And the great thing is, is that it, not only does it summarize it, but it kind of like links to definitions of things as well. So Scholacy looks like it's gonna be quite a powerhouse in the academic world, especially that summarizing thing. You know, it doesn't sort of completely replace reading a paper once you have found a paper that is interesting, but what it does do is make that initial search really, really easy and allow you to focus on the papers that will actually benefit your research. This video is brought to you by my newsletter. Go check it out at Andrew State stapleton.com.au forward slash newsletter. I'll put a link in the description. When you sign up, you'll get five emails over about two weeks. Everything from the tools I use to how to write a perfect abstract, the podcasts I've been on, my TEDx talk and more. So go check it out and I'll put all of that directly into your inbox. The second tool you need to know about is Author Arranger. Now this is a free online tool that allows you to format that really annoying part of a paper, which is all of the authors, all of their affiliations, i.e. the addresses you can find them and their email address, for example, of the corresponding author. And this tool makes it really easy. The reason I think this one is gonna get more popular is because papers, research articles, are getting more and more authors on them. I had a paper once that had like 20 researchers on it. And I had to go through and find their affiliations, link them all together, and this tool would have made it so much easier. It would have been able to create what I created in a fraction of the time. Um, and what you do is a little bit clunky as far as I can tell, but essentially you import an Excel document that's formatted in the way that they want you to format it. You push go and it just kind of like collates it all together. And this normally goes underneath the title um, and it is just a bit of a pain in the bum to kind of um, put together without a tool like this. So if you've got a paper with a load of different authors on, use this tool because it will save you a lot of time. I love the name of this one, Psy TLDR. Psy, too long, didn't read. So, all together, Psy TLDR, whatever it is, it is a summarizer. So, in my last video, we talked about Paper Digest, where you get an entire paper, you put it into um, a uh, their software, and it spits out AI-generated summarizations of that, and it's kind of a bit like Scholarcy, but this one only works on abstracts. Now, this is perfect, because it's a really sort of like a specific use case. I can see you using this if you've got an abstract and you wanna summarize it in a single sentence. That's what this tool does. So you take that abstract, you copy and paste it into their, um, into their software, you push summarize and then it spits out one sentence. That's perfect if you just wanna say these, um, these researchers or this paper did this, the summary, and then you can cite it. It's just a really simple tool that can take away a load of hassle when all you want to do in your paper is what someone did, citation, move on. So it can be really, really handy. And I love the name, Cy, T-L-D-R, go check it out. All the links are in the description. I had Rightful reach out to me recently and say, hey, we've also got these new tools, which is awesome. There's two online experiments that they're running at the moment. The first one is a title generator. It looks to be pretty effective at rearranging titles, coming up with more impactful titles for your research paper. Now we talked in my other video about selecting appropriate keywords. So if you know what your keywords are, but you wanna put them into a fun like, and uh, impactful title for your paper, you could use a tool like this to generate a lovely, succinct, scientific title. And uh, you just keep on pressing it or keep on generating it. It is a bit of an experiment and, uh, you know, it's fun to use at the moment. But if nothing else, it can give you that little spark of, uh, of creativity that you need to actually rewrite a title to make sure that not only it's got the keywords in it, which makes it searchable across all of the academic and non-academic search engines, but also that people are drawn to 
read it. So yes, they have a title generator. I'll put a link in the description. And the second thing they've got is a paraphraser. Now, paraphrasing is perfect because we want to get away from any potential chance of plagiarism. And these, uh, these tool or this tool allows you to put in a single sentence, click paraphrase, and you end up with a paraphrased sentence. And it's got three levels, like don't really change much, change everything, and then somewhere in the middle. So uh, I think it can be cool if you do want to copy just like a sentence from another paper, and but you, you know you can't just copy and paste. Put it through this tool, boom, you've got yourself a new sentence without having to use your, your noodle power, your brain power to do that. And you can save that brain power for doing your own analysis on your results. So yes, that paraphraser and that title generator is from Writeful, and I'll put a link in the description. Um, I think they could be both very useful. They're only experiments at the moment, but if people like them and they get better, they could be an integral part of writing a paper. The fifth tool that I think you should know about is paraphrasetool.com. I use it a lot at the moment. And I am amazed at how many options there are for paraphrasing a single sentence. There's standard, there's creative, there's elaborate, there's shorten, and loads, loads more. And uh, I think it does a relatively good job at using its AI to create paragraphs and paraphrase them. Um, it's not perfect. You do have to read it to make sure that it makes sense. And sometimes standard or creative or elaborate doesn't work for some sentences. But I have found paraphrase tool in combination with a spell checker like Grammarly or just word spell checker is a great combination. You drag and drop it across, it will pick up any obvious uh, semantic errors and uh, you can move on quite quickly. So paraphrasetool.com, something I use, it's free at the moment. I, I hope it will forever be free, but you know, that's the internet. Maybe they'll end up paying, uh, charging you at some point. But yes, I use it and it could just take away that little bit of brain power so you can focus it on a doing your own writing for your own paper. Um, and I think it's a great tool, so check it out. So there we have it. There are the five tools that could make your research life just a little bit easier. Let me know in the comments if you've got any more to add. And in the future, I think I'll be doing more in-depth kind of reviews of your most popular tools. So let me know which ones you want me to have a proper detailed look at and I'll get to it. If this video has been useful for you, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also go check out academiainsider.com. That's my project where I have my ebook, The Ultimate Academic Writing Toolkit. And uh, there you'll find my ebook and a link to my community, my members only community where we help each other with academic stuff, PhD or otherwise. And it's a great group of people. So go check it out. And I shall see you in the next video.